Right, and you're diabetic. Is that something that you would use? Absolutely, a type one diabetic, and uh, that's pretty incredible. I gotta say, uh, we gotta talk later. Where'd he go? Oh, we should definitely talk. But uh, thank you for that. That's the Telcare glucose meter. Okay, I got this one. Now I've got it correctly. Here to talk about Samsung Galaxy camera is Melissa Perrins. Melissa, come on up. Big hand for Melissa, guys. I don't know about you, but I tend to take a lot of pictures with my cell phone. But I actually prefer using my real camera because I'm a photographer, I'm always snapping pictures. When I do that, I like to hold it one-handed. This is something I can't really do so well with my cell phone. And as you can see with a point-and-shoot camera, you can do that pretty easily because there's a grip on it. Well, what Samsung has done with the Samsung Galaxy camera is that they've actually created something that combines the best of both worlds. It's essentially like a point-and-shoot camera in terms of its design and how it feels, except on the back, you're going to have a touch screen and you have all the connectivity that you're used to with a cell phone. It's the first Android Jelly Bean camera and you get to use your apps right on there and just imagine being able to send to social media, upload that Facebook photo or Twitter photo from wherever you are right when you're doing it but using a camera that's more like the point and shoot that you're used to. To introduce the Samsung Galaxy camera, Ryan Bidon will be back. All right, I'm back, I'm sorry. Um, so I've now seen up here for two different products with two different spellings of my name, I think, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, I am Ryan, and I am here to talk about the Galaxy camera. So what you see on screen right now is actually the display from the camera. We're doing this wirely, wirelessly using our all share cast dongle. Um, and there's a few things. I mean, as Melissa mentioned, what is really awesome about this device is uh, it's a point shoot camera, but it is the first 4G or LTE connected camera in the world. So no matter where you're going, no matter what you're doing, you can be connected. The other cool thing about it is it's powered by Android. So you can see here on the back, 4.8 inch screen, not as big as the Note 2, but exactly the same size as our venerable Galaxy S3 device. And because it is running Android Jelly Bean, I can download all kinds of apps. You see I've got Facebook there, Angry Birds. Um, if you wanted to play Angry Birds between shots, you can do that. Um, but I think the important part about this is really the camera stuff. So let's talk about that. One of the biggest things we did when creating this device was really wanting to simplify the picture taking process for people. Um, you see lots of really fantastic photos, people taking great shots, but they're really difficult to achieve. So what we actually did was add a bunch of smart modes to this camera. So for example, best photo, which we've introduced in a few devices, it'll take a, a quick series of shots, recommend the best one. Light trace, so if you ever wanna shoot those shots of headlights at night driving down the road, you can do that, it's a quick setting, and the camera does all the work for you automatically. Fireworks. Night, and I'm gonna show you a couple of these pictures that my colleague Nick took last evening while I was probably drunk in a casino. Um, silhouette, lots of really, really cool stuff. Waterfall, let me show you a couple of these. So this is a waterfall picture taken last night. I'm not sure the exact location, but you kind of see the water effect there. Nick is by no means an expert photographer. Literally, he just chose the smart mode, snapped the photo. Shot a couple of videos. This is Light Trace out on the street last night. We're out on the strip. You kind of see the lights fading off into the distance. And this is a low light shot that he actually took inside a casino. You can see how all the light levels are bumped up and look pretty fantastic. So, not only does it do cool stuff on the software side, but because it's a camera, it also does stuff on the hardware side. So I'm gonna show you quickly, and this is now the nausea-inducing piece of our presentation, so just bear with me for a moment here. Okay, so you see the camera, I saw the lens open up. Hey, look, it's you guys, great. Mm -hmm. It's all very meta now. Um, but one of the things is it's actually got a 21 time zoom. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thanks. That's awesome. That's really, that's really interesting. I like stuff.